you know, we've always said every year you should raise rents. You should never decrease them. But that's always with this caveat and carve out clause of saying, well, go ahead and look at your market and what else could the tenants get? Because if you're raising rents significantly and they could go somewhere else for cheaper, they might say, hey, you know what? I'll take the hit on the moving costs for it. And so that's where you really have to look at your specific um, geo to know what's going on. Folks, I don't know if you've heard, but the publications are screaming that rent increases are actually rent is falling. We are in a deflationary period. There's a lot more inventory coming. So should you, as a landlord, raise rent in 2024? We're going to have this conversation with the one and only Dana Dunford, the CEO of Hemlane. How are you doing, Dana? I'm great. Thanks for having me again. So remind us how many uh, landlords, how many units you have on the Himalayan platform? We have uh, over 25,000 uh, rental properties across the nation. So if you were looking at that population, which is a, a very large number across the United States, uh, what, do you, what do you think? What, what percent are, are raising rents? Do you think there is rent deflation? How many, do you have numbers on how many people might be reducing rents or move-in specials? What's really going on out there? It is so dependent on the market. And so what we have seen is that, you know, year over year, it's reported that in December, because December is closed, January isn't yet. You know, it's like 0.3% year over year increase in, Mm -hmm. in rental rates, right? And that's nationwide. But the real question is, well, what's going on in my market? What does my market look like? Because it is so heavily dependent on your market. And also we've seen single family homes actually have the more gains than apartments. (laughs) And so the apartments we see do not have as, um, as much of that rent increase as a single family home. Of course, yours could be an exception based on where it is, but that's where you have to do the research that a tenant does. If you are worried about, oh, can I increase the rent because I'm I'm reading headline news, just go on Zillow and find a, a, a the most similar property you can and say, okay, if the tenant were to move, this would be their option. What are they charging for rent? Are they charging pet fees? All these additional um, uh, charges and um, that go into it, would it be, and also the moving costs, would it be advantageous for the tenant to move or based on what I know about the market, um, could I could I increase the rent? And so I, I don't want, you know, we've always said every year you should raise rents. You should never decrease them. But that's always with this caveat and carve out clause of saying, well, go ahead and look at your market and yeah. what else could the tenant get? Because if you're raising rent significantly and they could go somewhere else for cheaper, they might say, hey, you know what? I'll take the hit on the moving costs for it. And so that's where you really have to look at your specific um, geo to know what's going on. Yeah, I love all of that. Really what I want people to realize is a lot of the media will be reporting rent numbers in their four apartments, multifamily. We're not talking mom and pop multifamily. We're talking large large multifamily units. We're also seeing a lot of inventory come online in the Sunbelt, which will all be class A stuff. So you're going to see some competition at that part of the market. Most mom and pop landlords don't play there. Certainly if you're a one rental at a time fan or follower, you're not playing there. What I would tell you to do is is basically use Dion's binder strategy, which he gives away for free on his his website, which basically goes out and to Dana's point, what are the options? And I think you will be probably pleasantly surprised. Uh, I've been doing this 20 some odd years. Uh, We did have a couple of years where we had movement specials. That was 06, 2005, 2006. Why? Because everybody was buying a home. Uh, So I remember two uh, half off deposits, one month rent free. We don't have to do that today. Uh, We are seeing relatively speaking, flat rents in our multifamily, our commercial stuff that we own, but single family, still high, every single family we have is rented before the tenant leaves, right? We get a 30 day notice on a house, we start listing right away. It's rented before 
uh, that person's out and, you know, we need a day or two to do repairs and stuff. So yeah, single family, very different multifamily, um, you know, class A stuff, the brand new stuff with the gym and the pools and all that stuff. We're not playing there anyway. Uh, so again, yep. just do the work, see what's going on. Uh, I suspect most folks, if they wanted to, they don't have to, but if they wanted to, they could raise rents uh, a little bit in 2024. That's my thinking anyway. Yeah, definitely. And that's what we're seeing as well, especially on the single family um, home side. And so definitely look at your market, look at the rates if you're worried about uh, headline news to see uh, what's what's going on in your market. There you go. Dana, you're amazing. Hemlake's amazing. If somebody wanted to go get the trial, how would they do that? Yeah, if you're looking to even advertise your property, we do have a free rental calculator to give you rent estimates um, based on what's on the market and what's been recently off the market as well as advertising your rental property and everything in between for full full property management. Um, so you can go to www.hemlane.com and mention one rental at a time for 20% off your first year. Dana, you're amazing. Say hi to the team in Henley. Thank you so much. Later. I will. Thanks for